And now to breaking news, a pursuit ends with a standoff tonight in the parking lot of an in and out Let's go to Desmond Sean, Sky 9, live over the scene in Foothill Ranch. Des? Well, Jeff and Susie, it's not clear what triggered this pursuit. It was some kind of police call here, and then the pursuit uh, lasted about uh, 10 minutes. Now, take a look. I got it. This is just happening right now as we're live. The law enforcement agency here has got their little drone that flying over the open sunroof of the suspect here. So you can see that they have him completely surrounded, and uh, because of that, this uh, parking lot, everything is uh, shut down uh, right now. So unclear what led up to this, but this person does not want to surrender a barricade situation and we're starting to more commonly see law enforcement use drones to get a really good look at what the suspect is doing see if they can see any weapons or anything like that before they uh, make their next move and here we are in Foothill Ranch. Desmond, Live in Sky 9 overhead mm -hmm. I'm Desmond Shaw, Jeff and Susie. Go ahead. Desmond I was just wondering if they had evacuated the in and out. As a matter of fact, they did, Susie. You don't see this every day, completely vacant in and out uh, right now. Looks like it is uh, completely shut down here just because it's so close to where the standoff mm -hmm. taking place. By the way, if you take a look at that strobe, it's that flashing light. That is the LAPD and their drone that is uh, fixed over this vehicle. That uh, person inside is wanted for. We don't know exactly what, but it did lead to a pursuit. And then this has now ended up being a standoff inside, outside of a in and out in Foothill Ranch. Hmm. Desmond, have you heard anything about the pursuit itself? Was it a wild pursuit? Was he driving fast? That didn't hear any of the details on that. It only lasted about 10 minutes. And again, it was law enforcement. They were they were responding for a separate call. And and for whatever it was, this suspect was involved in that. This didn't. This wasn't initiated as a, a, an attempted traffic stop or a stolen vehicle or anything like that. It was a separate call that the authorities uh, responded to. It looks like it's uh, going to be. Uh, Orange County Sheriff's deputies that are, are handling this right now in the uh, unincorporated Foothill Ranch area. Okay, Des, so tell us a little bit more about what do you see officers doing? Are there guns drawn at all? I mean, that might indicate uh, just how violent this uh, suspect may have been. Do we know anything about that? Yeah. Well, I mean, we could see the, uh, the officers are out here, the deputies with their weapons drawn. Uh, and it, it does not appear to be less than lethal. It looks like it, it is lethal force that they have uh, trained on the suspect's vehicle. We ha haven't heard anything about this being a violent episode, but you can see they're all out here. And it's, it's actually kind of remarkable. It's not often that you see law enforcement be this close to mm -hmm. someone who's refusing to surrender. Usually there's quite a bit more space yeah. between them and the vehicle in question. And we don't see any of those armored vehicles yet. It's unclear if they've called for the, for the SWAT team with the Bearcats uh, to come in here. But right now it's just deputies, quite a few of them, uh, surrounding the vehicle and the driver with weapons drawn. Well, I imagine with the drone, Desmond, that they can get a pretty good shot of what's happening inside if they can get right on top of the sunroof there. I mean, it is a little dark, but definitely better than nothing. You know, we usually just have your eyes in the sky, right, from Sky 9, um, and obviously like an OCSD chopper or something. But right now, I've, I've never actually seen a drone over a scene like this. Have you, Desmond? Yeah, I've, I have seen it more commonly mm. in these types of barricade situations. We are beginning to see it. Uh, I, I can think of several uh, instances where a pursuit ends with a suspect who refuses to give up, and then they, they, they get the drone out, and they'll, they'll fly right up to the windshield, you know, mm. and they, yeah. they really want to get as good a look at the suspect. They want to see if there's any weapons in plain sight or you know, what the body language is. Maybe they, they can get a, an idea of, of the attitude of, of the suspect. You can see he's got the sunroof open mm -hmm. and the window down. It looks like actively talking to the officers, but obviously not complying with their commands to come out and surrender. And this has been going on, uh, we understand now, for quite some time, more than an hour. So, Des, uh, it's interesting to see the police uh, cruisers to the back of the vehicle. Is there anything in front or is it the damage to the front that is keeping it from driving forward? I saw mm -hmm. uh, it looked like the uh, left front tire was kind of at a 90 degree angle there, but that is blocked. At least they wouldn't be able to go that way. But it looks like there might have been some damage to the left front wheel. Do you see that? Uh, or is it just turned? Yeah, I, I can't tell if he just, yeah, might, might just have, have the wheel turned here. But now as we get around to the side, and you can see, uh, looks like maybe 
chewing his fingernails or, or something like that. But the, the window down, so it's kind of, it's just, this is a fairly unique one just because the very close proximity mm -hmm. to the officers, there's active communication taking place. A lot of times there's a lot of distance between the suspect and the officers and, you know, no communication taking place whatsoever. So take it as it, hopefully a good sign at mm -hmm. least that the suspect is willing to openly communicate with the authorities and it's just going to be up to him how long uh, they want to drag this out. Yeah, it looks like they are. He is uh, gesturing and talking to these officers. We're going to keep uh, Sky 9 and Desmond Shaw live overhead this scene in Foothill Ranch and bring you an update just as soon as we get it.